We're gonna be spending the next 24 hours in the real Home Alone Hotel. Home Alone means a lot to me. Every year around Christmas, I watch this as a family and it's just as classic now as the first time I saw it as a kid. Hiya, pal. Staying overnight in the same hotel in the movie is going to be a dream come true. Throughout the video, we are going to try and complete Home Alone side missions, including buying some turtle doves, find Kevin's room, and recreate three scenes from the movie. This is gonna be fun. Is this real life? Before we go inside, let's call the number that Kevin called in the movie and see if we can book ourselves a room. Plaza Hotel Reservations may I help you. Thank you for calling about Direct TV Services. Direct TV. Kevin, you gave us the wrong number. That's not the hotel. Here we are, guys, in the hotel for the first time. It's surreal being here. So let's go to the lobby and check in. Ooh. Oh my gosh. What? <laughs> It's a hallway. It's like a whole house. I thought we were only having like a normal hotel room. <laughs> a Christmas tree in a hotel room? Dude, what are we doing? This is just the living room. The views. Oh my gosh, dude. It's whatever street that is. Holy cow. Where's the bedrooms? Do a bed test. <laughs> dude, this bathroom is fancy. And in shower. Jeez. Look at the size of this shower. What? Dude, I have never been in a hotel room like this. And there's another room back here. Apparently. They got robes for later. The master suite. Oh, is this real life? Luxurious and spacious. How did Kevin get to stay here? He's only 11. Yeah, how is his dad so loaded? Your butler would be delighted to brush and polish your shoes. Our butler? Butler? We haven't met any butlers yet. <laughs> well, we're gonna be living in luxury tonight, boys. <laughs> Run around. I know what you guys are thinking. This isn't the exact room from Home Alone 2, but we do know the room number that Kevin stayed in. So we're gonna go find the room, knock on the door, and see what's inside. The butler is on his way. Yeah. You guys, I literally can't believe we're staying here tonight. We have so much in store. So many surprises throughout the day. It's only getting started. I just heard a knock. Hello, Vincent. How you doing? I'm fine. Welcome to Plaza. Oh, thank you very thank much. You. My name is Kofi, I'm your butler. Oh my. <laughs> Speaking of coffee, we hope you've ordered our new coffee, Keepy Uppy. It's the perfect Christmas gift this year and we know you're gonna love it. How is the room, it's okay? Oh, it's phenomenal. We're on the fourth floor because in the movie, Kevin stays in room 411. So let's see if they have that room. Hi, is there a room 411 for Kevin McAllister in this hotel? Ah, got it. No worries. She said, that it doesn't exist. Are you serious? Yes. I thought we were gonna find Kevin's room, but the room from the movie isn't a real room. No. We're looking around this hotel for a non-existent room. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's kind of disappointing. Yeah. On to the next thing. <laughs> Guys, it is time for our classic Home Alone limo tour. And I heard that we get pizza. It feels surreal that we're doing this, guys. I don't know what to expect. He said, just go talk to the doorman. And apparently, pizza and limo is supposed to be here. This is for you. Wow. How's everything? Oh my gosh. Get in here, bro. Oh, oh my gosh. As soon as the pizza gets here, I'll bring it to you, okay? okay. Thank you so much. Dude, what, what is this? <laughs> Dang. Free drinks. Oh, classic Coke from the movie, guys. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, this just feels like Man. luxury service. We're going to be able to get a tour of all of New York City, go to the most iconic spots in the city. Look how much room there is. Go to the back. <laughs> it's just for me and you. <laughs> hey, oh, we can control the music up here. Guys, this is just the start of a crazy adventure, and we're here to show you guys all of it. So, hope you enjoy the ride. So, you've seen Home Alone? Uh, yes, I do. Do I look like anybody? Yeah, you know, the, sh the, the, the hat make you look like Kevin. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> we did it! <laughs> what about me? Do I look like anyone? The guy with the, with, with the glue. <laughs> <laughs> the sticky bandits? Yeah. Yeah. Would you like a Coke, Justin? Yeah. I mean, Kevin? Don't worry. I'm not replacing Andrew. He just couldn't be here because his wife is about to give birth. Leave some comments for Andrew. Because if Andrew was here, he would have definitely been Marv. But Harry and Kevin are going to have to do. <laughs> he should have been here 25 minutes ago, and she's like, he must be lost. And I was like, well, how could you get lost in New York City? And she's like, well, you should ask Kevin.
Hi! <laughs> Dad? Wow. How do you feel? Oh, so good. I feel so small in this town. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Isaac, your mission while we're driving in this limo is to get a high five from a stranger. A high five? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Easy. Hello, sir. This is my first time in America. Can I get a high five? High five? Oh, perfect. Yeah. Cheers, Rob. Thank you. What? First try. Oh, that was sick. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of people out here right now. Another drink. <laughs> nice. Out of the limo for the first time. We're here to experience New York. And we're right by the Rockefeller Center. Let's go see. Hug? Okay. Who are you? Oh. Okay. Yeah, I'm Kevin McAllister from Home Alone. Okay. <laughs> oh, we made him mad. Woo! You want to be in a picture with me? Yes! Yeah! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas to you! There's so many people here. This is the perfect opportunity to photobomb and just prank. We look like such tourists out here. <laughs> okay, I just found this in my coat pocket. Little balls. I'm gonna pour them out, see if anyone slips on them. Just uh, like funny just like home alone prank, huh? Right. How did that happen? I don't know. The ball slipped on the ball. <laughs> Guys, we're here. Remember the scene, Home Alone 2, where Kevin's reunited with his mom here at the tree. Hey, Isaac, you want to go ice skating? Yeah. Hi. Can I have a picture with me? I'll take one of you. Oh, yeah. Well, what do I want one with you? <laughs> no. I'm just wanting no. picture. He's, he's Kevin McAllister. What show? Uh, Home Alone. Oh, there you go. Merry Christmas, guys. Guys, I don't think Isaac and I are going to be able to ice skate because there's way too many people here, and you got to make reservations, which we didn't do. Hi, you want a selfie? All right. Hiya, pal. Hiya, pal. Hiya, pal. Surprisingly, no strangers mentioned that, hey, I look like Kevin McAllister. I'm just waiting for that moment. <laughs> I didn't take it, but I should have. Oh. I was like, oh, we'll do another one. Do another one. <laughs> I'm hey, terrible yeah. at selfies. Terrible. Look, I'm not even in it. You're in it. <laughs> it's just a picture of me. <laughs> Harry, there's no tree. <laughs> there yes. There's a picture for the memories. Hilarious. Since we're in New York, we obviously have to go to a toy store. So we're out here in front of, I don't know how to say this, FAO Schwarz. Apparently it's a mega toy store. Let's go inside. We are in Toy Haven right now. Literally two stories of toys. We're gonna have to buy some. Let's go upstairs. Build your own custom pop figure. What? <laughs> you, you, watch, you watch the videos? Yeah. How long have you been watching? A long time. What's your name? Uh, Carter. All right, shout out to Carter. He watches. Heck yeah. Gosh, guys, this toy store is nuts. How do we even get out of here? We got to get out of here quick. I'm starting to feel like robbing the place. <laughs> <laughs> Duncan's Toy Kit. As you guys know, Christmas is a time for generosity. So every 100 likes on this video, we're going to donate a toy to our local children's hospital. Mason watches the videos. Let's just ran go. into him. Where are you from? Massachusetts. Oh, oh heck yeah. Well, bro, great to meet you. So we're in the Lego store in New York, standing next to Lego New York. Oh my gosh. That is a uh, introvert's nightmare being in that store. Just ran into another fan apparently. What's your name? Ronan. Ronan? Thanks for watching, bro. Wow, oh, that's crazy. He watches from Australia in New York. What in the world? We found the limo. It's easy to get lost around here. Woo. I'm getting super hot. Here we are, Marv. New York City, the land, land of, opportunity. of opportunity. I love it. What's going on behind you? I don't know. I can't turn around. Let's go find out. in Home Alone. Yeah, me either, but I think it was in the extras. Guys, can you believe it? We're in Times Square right now. This is insane. All right, it's time to go back to the hotel because we have some other things we have to show you guys. The moment is finally here. We are back at the Plaza Hotel and they are delivering our cheese pizza. Yes, and you some something. Jelly beans. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Man, you guys are full of gifts. This is sick, dude. Jelly beans. Are you too? kidding me? Cheers! You use it? Oh, oh yes! Yes! Oh. Oh. Lovely 
cheese pizza just for us. Guys, look at this. It's like still extremely hot. Whoa! Look at this pizza. New York pizza, huh? Oh, dude. That's so good. Dude, that is... That's better than anything from the springs that I've had. You don't understand. New York pizza just hits different. Oh. Especially as Kevin McAllister. Oh. And you guys thought this was the only food we're going to be eating? You just wait until oh. we get back in our hotel room. You could not be more mistaken. We have a surprise for you. Now that we are back in our hotel room, it is time for the side quest. If you don't remember, in Home Loan 2, Kevin spent $967.43 on room service. Kevin! You spent $967 on room service! So, it's only fitting that Isaac and I do the same. <laughs> Let's call room service and see what we can order. Good afternoon, thanks for calling room dining, Mike speaking. I'm your sister, your sister. Hello, you can call me Kevin. We would love to order. We have this Sunday for 7 p.m. Right? Also like to place an order for dinner. Sunday. And how many guests I'll be serving? Two, three, or four? There'll be two. What would you like? We'll take two Wagyu sirloin, a Caesar salad, a classic club sandwich, a quesadilla, a pizza with lobster on it. We'll do a roasted half chicken. The roasted half chicken with, what would you like, on the side? Uh, rice. Salmon. The pepper sauce also, you want the cream? Uh... Pepper sauce. Dude, why is he eating the phone? Yes, what else would you like? Uh, we'll do soup, the cheese uh, and crackers appetizer, some chicken buffalo wings, shrimp cocktail. Um, we'll do the build your own pasta, and I'll do whatever pasta you recommend, honestly. You sound like a guy who loves and knows his food, so I trust you. Yeah, cheesecake, the candy bar, candy bar, yes. the chocolate flour, cake, the flour chocolate cake. Yeah, we'll get some French fries. What's the total so far? Seven hundred fifty-five ninety. Need more, dude. We need more. Oh yeah, yeah. We, uh, we've got the drink. Uh, a large French press of coffee, sparkling water, apricot crushed fruit smoothies. We'd add all the add on the hot chocolate with marshmallow and. Um, uh, yes. What's the total now? Uh, one thousand seven dollars. We did it. All right, we will place that order. We would love that. Definitely. And it, I'm serving two people, right? Yeah, we could just start with two. <laughs> Take that, Kevin! We beat your uh, in-room service record. I feel like we now have the record here at the Plaza Hotel. Well, guys, we got the receipt just to show you proof. $1,000 and more. <laughs> Where do we start? <laughs> We're living the Kevin McAllister life. This is insane. Eat something. Try. Okay, I got it. Taste test, dude. Lobster pal pa lobster pasta. Is it busting? Is it busting? This is the eighty, actually the ninety dollar Wagyu steak. Is that the most expensive steak you've ever had? Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. I'm just gonna take a bite of everything. And try it. So we got the quesadillas here. Good. Good. Don't worry. We are not gonna waste a single bite of this food. For the next two days, we will eat all of it. And if we don't eat something, we're gonna give it away. Never thought I'd be sharing a room with you, Harry. I'm glad we. Whoa, there's fish in the size. This candy bar right here was $25. Now, I'm not sure what's in this thing, but uh, let's see if it was worth the $25. This is good. Mm -hmm. And like we mentioned, the night's only just begun, so it's safe to say coffee's on the way. We also have our juice and smoothies for breakfast time, right when we wake up. We have a cheesecake for breakfast, because why not? Dude, it literally looks like we haven't done anything. <laughs> I'm going to town, what are you talking about, man? While Justin was ordering food, we got a knock at the door, and it was the lady from the front desk, and she delivered these. No way! The, tur what? the turtle doves from Home Alone. And she said that they are made by the same person who made them in the movie. Dude, that's so cool. You keep one, and you give the other one to a very special person. So if you have one, and I have one, we'll be friends forever. <laughs> We've had a, a list of side quests that we have wanted to accomplish throughout this video and one of the side quests was to get two turtle doves. I wasn't sure how we were going to get it, but looks like it was delivered to us. We didn't have to do anything. This is uh, quite the trip so far and it's only just beginning. You guys already saw our view during the day, but look at this at night. Bro, this is so cool. Hello. Hey. 
it! <laughs> Don't drop the camera! This Home Alone Hotel is something else, and I'm sure there's gonna be more surprises throughout the night. Isaac, you okay? <laughs> Hello? Oh, oh yeah. man. Hello! How are you today? Great! I'm the Home Alone way. <laughs> this is the raspberry jam, then we have the chocolate. Then the caramel sauce, the sprinkles, and the chocolate. Those are the M&M, chocolate ice cream on the side, and vanilla ice cream in the middle. We have all together here 15 scoops. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thanks, I'm glad you're here. Oh, I'm gonna help for sure. You want the big one or the regular small bowl? Big one. Big one. Big one. Oh, yeah. Oh, your tip. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> That's exactly what Kevin would do it. <laughs> And there's plenty more where that came from. <laughs> no, we'll give you, you, we'll so give you an actual <laughs> tip. There you go. No, bro, thank you. Would <laughs> oh, you guys care for anything? Please let us know if you need anything, please. Sure thing, Enjoy. Awesome. Thank, Enjoy. Thank, you. thank you. No problem. Get in that bed, dude. <laughs> Get in that bed. I'm gonna eat an ice cream with you on my bed. <laughs> Good. Get out of it. <laughs> where are you going, dude? Come back here. You're too close. <laughs> <laughs> the official Home Alone ice cream bonanza. Kevin. No, no, you're Kevin. Yeah, I'm speaking in the third person. That's how good this is. <laughs> All we need is the movie that Kevin was watching. And this moment would be a moment I'll remember forever. You was here last night too, wasn't you? I was singing at the Blue Monkey last night. She was not. She was smooching with your brother. And you were smooching with my brother. That's a dirty rock. See? Hi, Johnny. Don't get me uh, it's safe to say I'm full. Everybody. Check it out, guys. We have to-go containers of all the food we didn't finish or touch. So we're gonna go and uh, deliver these to whoever wants them. Never thought you'd see us two together. Friends, huh? No! Oh. Listen here, pal. So conveniently, the Plaza Hotel is right next to Central Park, which is also a prominent location in Home Alone 2, where Kevin goes and explores Central Park and finds Pigeon Lady. That's exactly where we're going. I'm kind of nervous. It's very dark in the park. <laughs> we're pretty much in the middle of Central Park, and we haven't seen a single person walking on this path. I don't know if that's a good thing. Hopefully there's not any real-life Harry and Marv's out here ready to attack us, but uh, keep your eyes peeled, Isaac. Don't be in Central Park after 10 o'clock. This is definitely a creepy tunnel. We're gonna get lost in Central Park now if we don't keep our bearings. Isaac and I have been walking around Central Park. It's extremely weird, completely different vibe than being in the city. Because in the city, you're just surrounded by people, but here in Central Park, there's no one walking out. What was that? The pigeons, dude. <laughs> there's literally a bunch of pigeons over there. Pigeon lady. I'll feed you to the pigeons, pal. No. <laughs> hey, kid. Throw down your camera. Throw me the camera. You like bricks? I got it, I got it. Ooh. 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 I'm gonna kill that kid. Guys, the later it gets, the more sketchy it gets. You never know what you're gonna get in New York, so it can definitely be pretty intimidating gotcha, just kid. walking. Oh! You just threw a brick at me! Ooh. We're staying in the city that never sleeps, then neither are we! Time to go explore. Okay, so apparently this hotel has a spa, a workout room, a secret rooftop. Who knows if it has a basement, but we're gonna find out. Where should we go first, up or down? You gotta start at the bottom. Make sure to blend in, act casual. Recognize this hallway? Roll the clip. Excuse me, where's the lobby? Down the hall and to the left. Thanks. This is where it all went down, and we're here in the flesh. Isaac, how do you feel? So good. We're blending in, though. We belong here. We have made it up the stairs right now. Fax this. What? <gasps> oh. Huh. The mysterious bar lounge. We unlocked a secret level. Employees only, huh? All right. We are employees. Ah, uh, the card must be felty. I have to go to ask Rodney about that. You're getting sweaty, Kevin. You're saying roof access, but where's the roof? Oh. <laughs> Dude, the phone's ringing. Pick it up. Hello? I'm gonna give you to the count at 10 to get your ugly, yellow, no good keister oh, off my property. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Before I... We have no idea where we are, guys, honestly. Where are we, dude? Dude, we're in 
Oh, snacks. <laughs> Little candies. We might get kicked out. They got. They must have security. We're, there's like, who are these guys walking around the hotel? All these, we're not going in any locked doors. All these doors are unlocked. We're just exploring the premises. We're not doing anything suspicious. This door is unlocked. Yeah, I guess. I guess. Jump under the table. I, I don't jump. know. You said somebody was out there. No, I didn't. I just said dude, dude, dude. But there was. There's two. There was like two security guards walking. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? What was that? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> We're just gonna go out and just walk like like we belong. Unlock it. Oh yeah, it's locked. It's locked. It's locked. We can't go through that. It's locked on the inside though. Whoa, look at that. There's no way they don't have like a live security guard watching the cameras. So I thought for sure they were like coming to get us. We're just tourists. We've never been to a cool hotel like this before. So this is definitely a different elevator. But... What the heck is that? Where are you? Dude, there's only four floors on here. Dude, we're in a different universe. The other elevator has like 15 floors. Where are we now? No, I don't want to get in trouble. Wait, kid, no, wait. Put your hand back in. Put, put your. Open the door. Oh. Isaac? Dude, you scared me. Why? Get out of there, dude. I thought you were trapped. <laughs> okay. Next mission go to the top. Oh, gosh. <laughs> what the heck is wrong with that door? We're gonna go to the very top of this hotel. We gotta play cool. We've been pretty sketched so far. Uh oh. Literally, this. Elevator goes so high, so fast. my ears pop. It just shoots us up like a rocket. We are literally on the highest floor possible, I think. Dude, this hallway is so much longer. Oh my gosh! You didn't know. We thought this was as high as it went, but apparently not because. Another staircase. How high does this go? I don't know. This is <laughs> level 20. There wasn't level 20 on the dude. The elevator didn't have a level 20. On the elevator, it said 19. Didn't go any higher. Okay, well let's keep going up because we don't need to go there. Starting to feel sick. Definitely as high as you can go in the hotel. Yeah, this is definitely a secret floor. Dude, what are they hiding up here? I was kidding. Like, this one has a doorbell. What? are like actual condos where people can live. There's like a public balcony for them. Dude, we're literally on the highest point you can be on the hotel, bro. This is nuts. Up there's just pipes and stuff, so. Whoa. You can barely see how high we are, but dude, this is crazy. Bro, secret mission. Uh, I'd say secret mission accomplished. We made it to the roof. Feels great out here, dude. Should we climb onto that thing? Nope. And I was fingerboarding and it fell behind this thing, so I moved out of the way. Dude, there's a thumb. What? Is it one of those, uh... What the heck? Ooh. Oh. oh! How did you know what that was? I used to play with these as a kid all the time. Hmm? Oh. I forgot, I forgot this behind the table. Well, it is way past our bedtime, so I think it's time to wind down, get ready for bed, and put on the luxurious robes they have. I mean, the shower, are you serious? Yeah, the shower is pretty much as expected. Fantastic. Luxurious shampoos. 
Well guys, the McAllister bathrobes do not disappoint. I hardly ever wear bathrobes, but wow, this is nice. Housekeeping. Bathman! I'm Spider-Man. We both got the robes on and it's time to relax. What time is it? Time for some more pizza? Yep. Wanna watch Home Alone? Of course I do. What was that? <laughs> Good night, Johnny. Uh, Good night, Kev. Check this out, guys. I got lights right next to my bed. So I can turn them all off. It's been a fantastic day so far, and I'm expecting it to be a fantastic night's sleep. We'll resume activities in the morning. One of the coolest days ever, honestly. <sighs> oh man, that is comfortable. Good morning, guys. Smokes, it's morning. Beautiful night's sleep. Good morning, Marv. <laughs> your complimentary morning smoothie and juice. Hopefully you slept good. See, this Kevin kid is not so bad after all. Good morning, New York! Shut up! Nothing like a $25 smoothie in the morning. Hey! Sleep last night was fantastic. Starting off the morning with a smoothie and horns. Gotta love it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We're running late for our flight home. Leave a like if you haven't already. See you next time. Dad?